The scenario has gotten deeper. Just to recap, you run away from home because it's very problematic and troublesome at home. A really rich girl picks you up and says, Hey, come and live in my mansion. I'm Poppy. Poppy's brother is very, very hot. And in hanging out with Poppy and all of her rich socialite friends, somebody really likes you and somebody really likes her brother. And so you and the brother are pretending to be together in order to make people leave you alone. But you're not actually together, even though you want to be together. This is the weekend of Marissa's big birthday and the people who are jealous of our relationship are calling Chanel and you do not want to understand who Chanel is. Episode 4, Vegas baby. Oh no, we're going to Vegas! <laughs> I get way too excited for this game, I'm sorry. Ugh, time to get ready for class. Oh and there's Poppy. Hey Gloom. Morning. After class, we're going shopping. Get in the car, loser. For what? Not that I need a reason to shop, but we have to get a few outfits for Marissa's birthday weekend. Oh girl, we are gonna get in trouble. I need you to ask Bentley if he'll take us. Bentley, her hot brother. <laughs> oh, he'll take us. Why do I have to ask? Can't you? Because he won't say no to you. <gasps> Okay, so I don't really know if Poppy knows that I love her brother. I've been really straightforward about it, but at least she knows now that he won't say no to me. Oh, <laughs> thanks, hon. Oh, and don't forget to let all the professors know that you won't be in class on Friday. Wait, what? Why? Um, hello! Marissa's having her party in Vegas. It's four hours away and we're leaving early. Class? <laughs> no. I have to finish getting ready or we'll be late. Toodles! <laughs> Shoot, not only did I forget about Marissa's party, but I also forgot that it's in Vegas. Like, this is so extra. Whatever happened to having some Tang and Rice Krispie squares and celebrating with a movie? Well, here goes. Bentley? In here. What can I do for you? Dang. Ah! He's in a towel! Yummers! Okay, I gotta stop being so creepy for one minute. Do you need something, or are you just gonna stand there gawking at me? As if I was not gawking at you, I was looking at the towel. The towel looks expensive. Anyways, Poppy wanted me to ask you if you can take us shopping after class today. I have a lot of work to get done, but I guess I can. If you two don't take all day. Again, <laughs> you don't really know Poppy, do you? Like, we are gonna be shopping for hours. But I'll make sure we don't take long. Good. Now, I have to get dressed. Would you like to stay for a show, or? Bentley! Banks! Okay, bye. I do want to stay though. Oh, I love messing with her. Hey! It's my friend. I gotta head to class. Let me chat friend at the end of the day. Remember, tell your professors you're leaving early. Say you're like <coughs> sick or something. Oh, and I guess tell Layla hello. Don't say that to Layla. She's my best friend. Okay, bye. Layla! Hey girl. How have things been with Mr. Cutie Pants? See, that's the problem. He wasn't wearing pants this morning and... Whew, what? You saw his... Uh... No, 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 no. Of course not. He was wearing a towel. Dang, I thought you were gonna give me a mental picture of, you know, the junk. Okay, girl, stop. So how's the country club thing? Oh, I forgot to tell you. Bentley and I are pretending to date. Say what? Layla's a really good friend and I don't think she's gonna like this. Pretending? Why? Well, okay, so Victoria, this really mean girl, and Preston, this really mean guy, refused to leave us alone no matter how many times we turn them down, so Bentley suggested that we pretend to date while they're around. Hmm, what? I mean, can I be honest? Yes, we're gonna get Layla's honest opinion. Just tell me, stop beating around the bush. Girl, this is Bentley Banks we're talking about. 28 years old, handsome as heck in the face of one of the biggest real estate companies in the country. Oh, well, I see you've done your research. You said yourself he's one of those guys who can have any girl he wants, but here he is playing pretend house with you? Come on, girl. Either he's really, really bored or he has it bad for ya. I think it's option two, but how do you feel about it? Honestly, I really, really, really like him. I've never felt like this about anyone beforehand and he makes me feel like, oh, I don't know how to describe it. Oh, girl, tell me more. How exactly does he make you feel? Oh, don't you just love the friends who give you the opening to gush forever? Okay, well, oh geez, maybe it's cheesy, but I get butterflies anytime I see him. <laughs> That's a little more than a crush, huh? It feels that way sometimes, it feels serious. I hope he feels the same way about me. He does, girl. Look at the evidence. He's always there for you, has made it abundantly clear he's always flirting with you and overt about it too. And now he's pretending to be your boyfriend? Like, come on, girl, what's next? That's true. Thanks for talking it through with me, Layla. You always give me the best advice. I love you. I love your tattoos. I love you so much. I'm rooting for you. You better keep me updated on this. Oh, girl, I'll be sending you 3 a.m. texts. I'll be letting you know everything. Benny, you can wait outside if you want. Stop calling me that. I have to do some work phone calls, so don't take too long, please. Okay. 
don't tell anyone this, but on Saturday, Marissa's having a lingerie party for the girls, yeah. Also, there's a big party on Friday. Girl, we are partying. And also a brunch on Sunday. Lingerie party, that's a little risque. So we have to get some cute outfits. Let's look around and meet up in the dressing room. Who's gonna buy me mine? I can't afford to shop here. Did you find some cute outfits? I found a really cute dress. I think you might like it. Oh, exciting. Listen, this weekend is gonna be a big deal. There's gonna be tons of photos and people seeing. Of course, and we're gonna look stunning. Oh no. As much as I don't belong in this world and I want to feel like I don't want to be part of this world, it's really fun. Ugh, this is why you're one of my best friends. Oh, Poppy, I love you. You get me. I love when Poppy and I go shopping. She's always so supportive. She's not one of those girls who doesn't want me to upstage her. Like she actually wants me to look cute. Glam, how's it look? Well, you see, Ah, check me out! Isn't it so cute? I look like a little fox. OMG, you look so hot. Oh, so do you. Oh my goodness, look at you, Poppy. Bear it back. Gotta check myself out in the mirror so I feel good. I hate to admit it, but I look and feel amazing in this. I have to show Bentley. Ooh, yeah. Mm, ah. A little higher. Yeah! Okay, great. We'll start the paperwork tomorrow. Have a great day, see ya. All right, checking my phone. What's taking them so long? A text from Bloom? What do you think? Holy crap, I did not think we were like this. She looks stunning. Wow, you look like Vegas royalty. I can't wait to see it in person. Oh, this dress is doing wonders for my confidence. We look so amazing. I have everything lined up to buy at the counter. So let's party Vegas style, girl. Whatever happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Girl, we are dressing like the high rollers. We are spending our gems. We're gonna look amazing. Thank you, Poppy. Anything for my girl. Oh, Poppy. So we've had an issue with Poppy in the past because she wants to hook us up with this guy who's like a real jerk, Preston. Our character here is really mad at her for that, but I understand where she's coming from because even though she has a tiny brain and she, like it's not the right thing to do, Poppy really cares. And this is her way of caring, even though it's not really great. No dress? Not yet, you'll see it on the trip. It's like perfect. Looking forward to seeing it. Do you guys want to grab a bite to eat before heading home? Nah, I ate a big lunch. Bloom? You know I can't turn down food. Hey, Poppy, go wait in the car. Okay, I'll drop Poppy off before we go. Ah, oh, have you been here before? It's one of my favorites. No, first time. I can tell by the napkins folded on the plates that this is definitely a, a bit of a tear out of my price range. Hello, I'll be your waitress tonight. What can I get for you two? Do you mind if I order for you? Boy, you've been here before. You probably know what to order. You know what I like to eat. Go ahead. Okay. For our appetizer, we'll have the mozzarella sticks, fried pickles, cheese quesadillas, and fried calamari. Boy, you are ordering the whole menu down! For our meals, we'll have the buffalo chicken wings, two cheeseburgers, sirloin steak, creamy parmesan pasta with mashed potatoes, and an order of cheese fries. Okay, I don't want to know what this guy orders for breakfast. Bacon and eggs and toasted coffee, eggs and one sausage on the side, raspberry jam, don't grab your juice, coffee, bonus sweet. I couldn't believe my ears. He ordered half of the menu. A man who loves food as much as me? Great, I'll be back with your appetizers. You must be really hungry. I always order like that. I'm a man with a big appetite. <laughs> I feel like I don't know that much about you. Uh-oh, here come the personal questions that he doesn't know about me yet. I mean, there isn't much to know. I never hear you talk about your family or your life before you moved in with my sister. I, I don't like to talk about it. Why? Because I don't. Bentley. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't mean to pry. Family seems to be a touchy subject. I guess it's best not to ask her about the bruises and the night terrors right now. I'd just like to get to know you better, that's all. I'm not going to judge you. I'm more than where I came from. That's why I don't like talking about it because I don't want it to define me. I don't want you to feel sorry for me. I am more than who my family is. I'd rather just forget about my old life, to be honest. Okay. So then tell me more about yourself. What do you want to know? What's your favorite food? Um, pizza, pasta, chicken wings, cheeseburgers, tacos. I'm gonna say pizza, I'm gonna be consistent. Pizza, duh. Pizza's my favorite too. I guess that's kind of our thing, hey? What do you like to do in your free time? Um, I like to go to the beach. Me too, I love the beach. It's so relaxing and you can sit back and forget all of your worries just as you watch the waves crash into the shore and that water noise. Oh, okay, last question for now. What are you going to school for? Um, would it be too gold diggery if I said I wanna start my own business? Like what if it's true though? I wanna start my own business. I'm taking some business classes. I'd like to be a business owner one day. That's awesome. And I could help you with that. Okay, don't help me too much. Like don't let me get greedy. I watched my father build his company from nothing. Okay, now it's my turn to ask the questions. Ask away. So the other day when we got into a little fight, he was like, my mom doesn't even love my dad, but that's a topic for a different time. So I'm gonna ask him, are you close with Poppy's mom? I know you're not close with Poppy, but what about your stepmother? Clarissa is just a grown up version of Poppy. Selfish, snobby, pretentious, conceited, gold digger. Oh, look, ugh. 
Ignore me. <laughs> my father deserves better. Oh, um, why haven't you ever been in love before? You seem like a catch. I know that this is such a cliche, trite question, but like sometimes a girl's gotta know. I thought I was in love once. There was this girl, ugh, long story short, it didn't work out. And after we broke up, I realized I wasn't really in love with her. I was just settling for what I thought love was. Oh, wow, that, that's a deep answer. Do you want to settle down and start a family? No, not until recently. <laughs> <laughs> what changed your mind? I've started to feel things that I've never felt before. Oh, so you met someone. Please be me, please be me, please be me, please be me. No, I mean, ugh, I have to deflect. I can't tell her the truth. I can't say it's actually her who's made me feel like true love might actually exist. Um, maybe it's just me getting older, but I'm starting to realize that I'd like to share my life with someone. But I won't settle again. I'll wait as long as I have to for the right one. Oh. I'm done asking. I know all I need to know. Thank you. We talk and laugh a while longer over dinner. He starts to talk about his childhood and how he saw his father struggle, but eventually rise to success. He talks so passionately, like he's reliving the moments in his mind. I study his face, how his eyes light up when he smiles, and how he brushes his fingers through his hair as he talks about something uncomfortable. He's like the perfect piece of art to me. So many layers, depth, emotion, and everything he says. I could listen to him talk like this forever. This is the best time I've had in a while. Gloom is such a great listener. She's great in taking in anything I say with so much interest, like she actually cares. Not to mention it's great to share a meal with someone who enjoys food as much as I do. Just worry-free, great conversation with the most beautiful, caring woman I've ever laid eyes on. I could get used to this. Oh, it is going well. Wow, it's getting late. I didn't realize we were talking for so long. Are you ready to head home? Yeah, I need a long sleep after the like, because we're going to party. We are going to par- Hey, it is Friday. We're packed up. Let's go. All right, be there in a second. Ooh, I look cute. I hope this weekend goes smoothly. The last thing we need is more drama, but you know there's gonna be more drama. Do, 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 driving in the car, Bentley on the driver's seat. Looks like we're almost out of the city. Should be in the middle of the desert soon. I hear there's a lot of fun roadside attractions along the way. I'm actually surprised that we're driving to Vegas and not flying, knowing you rich people, but whatever. My parents never really let us do anything fun on road trips, so we usually just flew wherever we wanted to go. Oh, that's why we're driving. We like a good road trip. My parents never really went on road trips at all. Hmm. If you look to your left, you'll see desert. And to your right, more desert. Wait, why did he sigh? Did you actually just sigh out loud? Wait, what's on your mind? We talked about that TV show last night, Space Cruisers 9, and I was just kind of sad. We'll never get to explore space or anything like that. Well, we could explore the world still. The world's pretty big. I guess so. We could even start today. Ooh, we are so romantic. We are so in love. Well, maybe not today. Actually, I'm pretty sure we're close to some roadside attractions. Freeway between Las Vegas and LA is full of them. I'll start looking them up now. What did you have in mind? Look at this place. It's perfect for road trip photos together. Sounds really fun. Let's check it out. This looks cool. What is it exactly? I just found this review. Brigsby Curios Box of Mysteries is a fantastic time. Five out of five stars, endless amounts of fun. See life like aliens. Own the kingdom like a king and queen. Go to real western jail. Enjoy the incredible view. Whoa, hold on a sec. Is that? Oh, Bentley? Hello. Men sometimes. Let me crack a window open for Poppy so she doesn't die in here while we're out. Oh, wow. He loves it. I can't freaking believe it. Bentley, you can't just run off like a child. Oh, what? That's the actual ship from Space Cruisers 9. Um, come again? You know, the 1960s TV show about venturing into the unknown. The one I was talking about. This must be fate. Ugh, you haven't really heard the phrase, beyond the stars of our fate lies. Bentley, not in the slightest, but it's cute that you know it. Will you do this with me? Do what? Please, please. I don't know if I want to. I'm good. We should probably get back on the road. We don't want to miss check-in. I want to party in Vegas, boy. Like, come on. Oh, I guess you're right. We can go on the way back. <laughs> I want to lay by the pool. Well, can't believe Poppy didn't wake up that whole time. Yeah, she said she wants to be really well rested for the festivities, as do I. What exactly are the festivities? Uh, oh, I don't want to mention the, uh, the party, you know, the underwear party. I just usually follow Poppy around like a lost puppy or sit in a corner and silently judge everyone, so I wouldn't know. Well, now you have me to follow around. I don't think you're gonna want me cramping your style, Bentley. Cramping my style? You haven't realized by now that I actually like having you around? You do? Oh, that's really upfront. Of course. You're the only person in this vapid city that I can stand. What about Chad and Harvey? They're fine, but still stereotypical rich kids. Oh, Benny, you even like having me around more than your guy friends? If I wasn't so flattered, I might think you have a crush on me. Strategic. I'm a little old for crushes, Gloom. What? Besides, you're the one who has a crush on me. As if. Oh, come on. I see the way you look at me. The way I look at you? Just the other day you walked in on me in the dressing room and stared at me as if I was a piece of meat, you ravenous dog. Well, can you blame me? Boy, just admit you have a crush on me. I'm not blind. You're very beautiful. Is he flirting with me? I don't know. Uh, I don't like how he won't admit it. I'm deflecting. <laughs> Thanks. No problem. 
Ooh, I can feel my cheeks getting warm. Is someone blushing? Oh, now he's flirting with me. No! Oh, someone's embarrassed. How cute. Shut up. Just get us to Vegas. Oh, Poppy woke up. Are we there yet? No, we still have about an hour. Well, I'm going back to sleep then. Yeah, I think I'll take a nap too. Come on, Gloom. Weren't you enjoying our conversation? No, because you said that crushes are for old men. Huh? Like, get over yourself. Just tell me that you have a crush on me and let's get over it. Just wake me up when we get there. <laughs> All right. Sweet dreams, sleeping beauty. Say it to me. Don't say it to yourself. Okay, here we are in Vegas. What am I? I'm sleeping on Victoria. Victoria hates me. Did you do what I asked you to do? Yeah, I called her. Good. Is she going to do it? I guess. Look, Victoria, I don't think I want to be part of this anymore. I just wanted to get into Gloom's pants. I'm Preston Peters, for God's sake. I can get any girl I want. I look insane going after some girl who's obviously lost her mind and doesn't want me. I'm moving on. You should do the same. Ugh, you're so lame. I'm going through this with or without you. Whatever. Oh, Preston seems like a good guy, but they called Chanel. Watch out. Wow, it looks like we got here just in time. Yeah, seriously, even with Poppy refusing to use the gas station bathroom, we still made it on time. Hi, baby. Sorry I took forever. Missed you every second. Oh my God, Chad hates her. Oh great, everyone's here now. Everyone listen up, birthday girl speaking. I have the whole weekend planned out Perfectly. Everyone has their own hotel room, so first you can go and get settled in. And then tonight I have a little party set up. Lots of drinks, dancing, and great music. Tomorrow is shopping day, and I have a lingerie party set up for the girls later that night. What? Lingerie party? Huh? Heck yeah! Preston? Since you'd rather listen with your mouth than your ears, you misheard. I said lingerie party for the girls. No boys allowed. Hey, that's so not fair. What are the guys gonna do? I don't know, it's Vegas. I'm sure you'll figure it out. Sunday, I have a fabulous brunch set up and then we can head home. So go get settled, the party starts in an hour. Oh, and don't forget your nicest outfits. You better look amazing. Love you, Marissa. Oh, this is so nice. I wouldn't expect anything less from Marissa. Now I have to get ready. Nicest attire. Huh. Oh girl, time to party. I bought this for a reason. I really want to enjoy myself tonight. Hopefully there's no drama. That's called foreshadowing. There's going to be drama. Wow, Victoria, nice dance moves. Woohoo! Will it? Will it? Okay, that's really nice, Victoria. Why did you invite Margot? She's a makeup artist. She's doing my hair and makeup this weekend. Ugh, she's so weird and she's getting a little too close to Chad. Poppy, you really think Chad would leave you for her? No, but she needs to stay in her lane if you know what I mean. Oh jeez, okay, that's toxic. Guys, we have to crash the lingerie party tomorrow. Oh, I don't know, man. Marissa has everything planned out. She's a control freak. Have you ever seen her when things don't go her way? It's scary, dude. I better make sure these guys don't cause too much trouble. Wherever you're going, I'll be there. So don't try anything too shady. I have the perfect idea for how to crash their party. Trust me, it'll be hilarious. Oh, whatever. If Marissa gets pissed, you guys are all taking the fall, not me. We have to get Chad in on this. Oh, uh, I'm gonna get a drink. <laughs> I'm Margo. I'm gonna get a drink. All right, talk to you later. I'm Chad. Tori! I haven't seen you drink anything but stiff drinks all night. Come with me, I'll get you some water. Okay. I needed to get away from them for a second. Oh, I love this song. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, Chad, get away from me, please. That's Poppy's man. Hey, nice moves. Oh, uh, thanks. And you look amazing tonight, may I add? Mmm. Ah, uh, thanks. Why are you acting so shy? Because you normally don't talk to me. I know. And you could say that's my fault. I guess since I've been hanging out with Poppy more, I've noticed just how cute you are. Now I see why Preston was so into you. Is he hitting on me? I think the only person you should be calling cute is your girlfriend. Girlfriend? Ha! <laughs> God, I don't have a girlfriend. What are you talking about? Well, according to Poppy, you do. Poppy and I are just messing around. Nothing serious, no strings attached. Chad, get away from- I have anxiety. Get me out of here. Are you sure she knows that? <laughs> I don't really give a crap if she does or not. Poppy was just saying that he's the one yesterday. I'm a single man and I can do what I want. Plus I'm in Vegas, baby. And what I want to do is you. Ew, ew, guys. Do I tell Poppy? Poppy's gonna hate me. I'm a girl code breaker, but not with guys that I don't like. So I can either say you're disgusting or never in a million years. I'm gonna say you're disgusting because really, never in a million years, that's not as rude as I need to be right now. You're disgusting. I'm not. You are, look at you. Hitting on a girl while your girlfriend is literally across the room. You won't tell her, right? Oh my god, well I could. Please, please, please don't, don't. I promise. 
because I'm a nice guy. I'm Chad. Yeah, that's what they all say. I won't tell her, but you have to promise never to creep on girls again. I can't tell her because if I tell her, I feel like she's not gonna believe me. I did my part. I did the best I could. Sure, whatever. Seriously, don't. It's weird. It doesn't reflect well on you. Okay, I won't. I promise. I get it now. Is everything okay over here? Of course, dude. Yeah, I'll catch you guys later. <laughs> I mean, I wish I could have told him that you're my fake boyfriend. What was that about? He was hitting on me. What? Gloom, are you sure you're okay? I'm fine. I just want to have a good time tonight. Honestly, I do too. I thought we'd be doing a lot more here. I even brought a tuxedo. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure you look handsome in it. I do. We'd look stunning together. But if we just sit around in the hotel rooms drinking and making drama, what's the point of having it? I think I need a break from here. I agree. I'm itching to get out of here. What do you have in mind? Ooh, we could get dressed up real fancy. We could play in the casino. Have an extra fat stack of money. You have a fat stack of money? We could get a drink at the High Rollers Lounge. We could have interesting company. Okay, boy. I'm tired of you serenading me away from the parties with these songs. Let's take our night to the next level, just a few rounds. You know what? I'm mad about what Chad did and I have to get out of here. I feel like the drama's gonna get worse and worse. Let's make some money. Yeah! I, I can finally wear my tux. I thought you were wearing a tux, to be honest with you. Poppy, we'll be back in a bit. No more than two drinks, you hear? Whatever. Oh, I'm walking into him in the elevator, love that. Thank you for getting me out of here. Sometimes it feels overwhelming to be around them. Even though they're my friends, I just, I can't sometimes. Yeah, the drama these people live for. Uh. Huh? Howdy. My name is Greg Papalopagus. International sales. Y'all heading down to the casino? You bet. Bentley, nice to meet you. And this is Gloom. Uh -huh. Hi. Lovely name, Gloom. You know, that was my friend's wife's cousin's name, actually. I always hated it, but hey. Looks all right on you. She runs an underwear business at 35 and sells them like hotcakes, doll something. Check it out. I actually need underwear. Ever play blackjack? That's the game of kings. I've played a little. Have you, Gloom? No, I've never gambled. How do you play? Easy, you try to get your cards add up to 21. Face cards worth 10. Try and beat the dealer, house always win. <laughs> I'm just kidding, he didn't say that. Simple enough. Is that your game? You better believe it, buddy. See you at the tables. Oh, what a nice guy. Could be fun. Let's follow him. International salesman? I don't know if I trust that. What if this guy swindles us? But can he in Blackjack? Apparently Blackjack is like one of the more even games. I guess this is it, huh? Hey bud, glad you could make it. Game's just starting. Welcome ladies and gentlemen. Cash in 200, please. Same here. Are you sure? That seems like a lot of money for one game. If I have you by my side, I'm sure of anything. When the hand comes, tell me what to do. I've never played. Oh, that's it? Let's play. Do 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 do, do 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 do. You have a 10 of hearts and a five of clubs. Oh, dealer has a face card. We have 15 currently. What should we do? If I get a six, I'll win, but hey Terry, if you had a 15, in blackjack, would you say hit me or stay? Uh, wait, what, when in Vegas? Hit me. That's a 23, bust. You, sir? Stay. And you, sir? Hit, please. We got 21! Let's go! I told you you were my good luck charm. Hey! All right, we're heading back to the room now. We're not doubling our money. That's too risky. The adrenaline, I don't want to waste his money. Let's head back to the room. Sure. I can't believe we won. At least we made back what we put in. Could have been more. Ugh, or less. Still, it was really nice you got me out of there, Bentley. Thank you. I had a lot of fun spending time with you. I did too. Honestly, I couldn't care how much I won. The best part of the night was being with you. Yeah, you're saying that now. Three years into our relationship, you're gonna be like, girl, I wanted to stay. Well, this is our stop. Back to the party. I won't leave your side for the rest of the night. It'll be my mission to make sure you have fun. Oh, that's sweet of you, Benny. <laughs> Hey, pretty girl. I'm Preston. Yeah, I know. Of course you do, doll. But I don't have the pleasure of knowing your name. No, Preston. I mean, I know who you are because we went to middle school and high school together. We did? Well, you must have grown up because I would have remembered such a pretty face. Gross! Okay, well, he's striking out. Hope I was able to make your night a little better. Definitely. I knew I wouldn't have been able to survive here without you. Oh, Victoria, what do you want? Bentley, come dance with me. I've got some moves you can't resist. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. Dude, you are not well right now. Come on. You know you want me. You need a woman like me. You think Gloom will be able to handle ya? Nah, ee. She can't satisfy a man like you. Ow. She's a little girl who thinks she's so special, but really, she's nothing. Hey, watch yourself. Don't talk about her like that. I don't want you, Victoria. Now go annoy someone else. I'm busy with my girlfriend. I don't think you'll be seeing that tomorrow. What's tomorrow? I got Bentley a present. It arrives tomorrow and I can't wait to see his face. <laughs> Victoria, 
go to sleep. Uh oh, I think that this Chanel person has really gotten Bentley worried because look at his posture now. That woman does not know how to take a hint. He really won't give up. Well, luckily I think Preston has found new prey. He hasn't tried to talk to me all night. Good. I guess that means we don't need to pretend to be together anymore. Don't sound so sad, Bentley. Victoria doesn't seem like she's gonna give up anytime soon. I don't mind being your pretend girlfriend for a little longer. Good. I mean, let's act like that didn't even happen. I'm trying to make sure you keep a smile on your face. Huh. Well, I know what'll make me smile. Anything, angel face. Dance with me! Oh no, I don't dance. Oh come, you dance with me at the wedding! Bentley Banks is such a tightwad, he can't let loose for a little. Or do you just not have any rhythm? Oh, you have no idea how much rhythm I have. Then why aren't you dancing? A wink, really? She's driving me completely insane. Then come dance with me. Are you gonna make me beg? Actually, yes. All right, fine. Puppy dog eyes engage. Mm. Pretty please, pretty please. With the cherry on top? I promise I'll stop after I never bug you again. That, that'll get him. That's a cute one. You're breaking my heart. Fine, I'll dance, but just for you. I knew I'd get you to give in. I was always gonna give in. Let's go. Let's go. Let. Oh wow. Oh, look at his rhythm. Hey. Oh. Ew. 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 What are these two doing? Oh, I can't stand this. Bentley grabs my arms and spins me around. He's so tall that he towers over me. I watch him as he studies my lips, my forehead, and then my eyes. And then he reaches his hand to my face and cups the side of my cheek. I can feel his breath on my nose as he whispers in a deep, sultry tone. You have no idea how cute you are. You have no idea what you do to me. Bentley. I don't know what to say. I don't want to ruin the moment by saying the wrong thing. Oh! Oh no! Harvey, you promised you wouldn't do that! Ruined everything you ruined! My birthday Christmas is cancelled! The toilet's right over there! Gloom, come on, Marissa needs us. I'm sorry, Bentley, I have to go. It sounds there's gonna be a meltdown. You don't have to do everything she says. Bentley, I have to be a good friend! And I don't want to start any problems. The Mima night's so amazing. I'll see you tomorrow. Don't be mad! Go help Harvey! Let's get you to bed, bro. I'm so exhausted. I was up pretty late last night. Poppy and I were trying to convince Marissa that her party wasn't ruined and everyone still had a great time, especially me. I mean, besides the whole Chad thing, I had an amazing time talking with Bentley and dancing with him too. And he told me I was a snack. What the heck? How am I supposed to face him after that? I'm usually pretty comfortable around him, but ooh, he's attracted to me. I hope I don't become an awkward mess when I see him next. <sighs> Time to shop till I drop. So are you gonna forgive Harvey for last night? I guess. He was blowing up my phone all night and I think he bought me that Tiffany necklace I wanted, so pretty good. You're late. Oh, give me a break, Poppy. I'm super hungover. Well, we're all here, so let's go. What about Margot? She said she just wanted to stay in for the day, but she'll be back at the party later. Let's go. I need new shoes ASAP. Three hours of shopping later. I forgot all the good stores that Vegas has. I know, I found the cutest dress. Did you find anything, Gloom? No, not yet. I haven't found anything I like. Gloom's planning on wearing an old bra to the lingerie party tonight. Like, help. Sorry to out you, girl, but I just want you feeling cute with us. <gasps> Oh my goodness, I have the place for you. It's called Dolly Clubhouse. That's where the guy from the blackjack game works. His wife. It's like a club with insanely hot lingerie. They read your aura and suggest pieces to you. Let's go. If you find something you like, I'll buy it. I'm Poppy, I love you. We've gotta make tonight's party the best. Okay, I'd love to check it out. Thank you, Poppy. Welcome, ladies. I'm Spice. Oh my goodness, look at your complexion. So cute. Are you looking for anything today? Yes, I follow you guys on Pixta. My friend here needs a cute set stopped. Mmm, I can help. Gosh, you're adorable. Look at you. I think I have a piece for you. I can tell you've been through a lot in your life. Mm hmm. Your first few years were not easy. Now it's a different kind of difficult. I can see it in your eyes. But things are better now. You're becoming stronger now. More capable because of your experience. The sun has shone through the darkness and now you're here. I can also tell there's a new love in your life. Someone who wants to protect you from all the pain you felt. I think I have a piece that will show all of those things and more. Yeah, totally. I totally want underwear that shows my pain. Perfect. Thank you. Get me in it. Oh my goodness, she nailed it. Wow, I think I need that too. Whatever, she's just being dramatic for the sale. It isn't just a sale, love. It's a statement. Fashion is a feeling. Try this on. Okay, this better be the cutest thing I've ever seen. Oh my goodness, that is absolutely stunning! I love it so much. Oh my goodness, gorge. Wow. 
stunning babe. Without a doubt, my proudest creation. Mm, you look like you could be a model with that on. You've got to wear that to my party, please. I want to look my best at this party. I'm doing it. Poppy is buying it. I'll take it. Ah, so excited. It's like modest. It's cute. I love it. Oh, can we please go to the hotel? I have a headache. I have to get ready for this stupid lingerie party. Oh, she shouldn't have said that. Stupid lingerie party? No, Marissa, I didn't mean it like that. Do you know all the work she put into organizing this trip? You're lucky to even be here. I just meant we're getting all cute and the boys aren't even allowed to come. What was the point of this stupid party anyways? Victoria is way out of line. Okay, me, Poppy, Marissa, the Justice Friends. The volume on this bus is about to be astronomical. You know, not everything a woman does has to be for a man, Victoria. We can look cute just for ourselves. Exactly. Thank you, Bloom. Yes, but like, ultimately, we're just trying to be cute, right? That's the male gaze, right? But we're flipping that on its head if we do it for ourselves. You know, Victoria, you could also just apologize for calling it a stupid party. We don't have to argue the semantics of why we're doing this in the first place. I could, but like, why? Toothpaste is already out of the bottle. It's a stupid party. You have an attitude problem. Marissa put all this time and effort into this party, and you're a guest, just like Poppy and I. So instead of complaining about it, maybe you should be thankful. It's not about you and what you want. Marissa loves you. Ah! You're right. I'm sorry, Marissa. It's okay, Victoria. Thank you for apologizing. Can we just have a fun weekend, please? Yes. She just wants an excuse to be half naked around Bentley. Duh, he's my soulmate and I want him to see me. I just know he won't be able to resist me then. Does she really think it would make a difference? Soulmate? <laughs> God, don't make me laugh, girl. What's so funny? We're in love. If things go my way tonight, we can finally be together forever. Okay, that's it. I've had enough. Time to shut this girl up. Get a grip, Victoria. It's very clear to everyone that Bentley doesn't want you. You don't know anything about him other than his looks and money. He would rather be set on fire than be with you. <laughs> You're too dense to see it, Victoria. Everything you do around him is so transparent. I'll say it one last time, real slow, so you can finally understand. He's not, exclamation point, interested. So leave him alone, bye. Wow, good for Glue. She's finally finding her voice. You're just gonna let her talk to me like that. Um, yeah, because she's right. Like I always say, the truth hurts. You're obsessed with someone who doesn't want you. It's creepy and totally stalkerish. Victoria, you really messed up today. All your desperation has given me a migraine. Let's just go. Whoa! This girl is finished. Uh-oh, this party's gonna be bumping. Look at all them pizza slices. Oh no, I feel bad now that I didn't tell Poppy the truth. What are you guys up to? Eating pizza. You girls hungry? Yes, pizza. Well, I'm gonna get ready for tonight. Bentley, I hope you didn't forget about your present. It's arriving soon. What? You were serious about that? I thought you were just intoxicated. I was very serious. Can't wait. See you later, handsome. Oh my goodness, you guys totally missed it. Gloom went off on Victoria. Like, apocalyptic off. But what? Her obsession with Bentley. Oh, really? Yes, it was the greatest. <laughs> Gloom called her out and everything. Okay, it's time to change the subject. It was nothing. So what do you guys have planned for tonight? Come on, guys, let's please not draw attention to this. Strip club! Hey, Preston, you can go by yourself. What? Babe, relax, he's just kidding. We're just staying in, I promise. Good. We're going to get ready. Okay, if the boys actually go, that's gonna be a mess. See you tomorrow, baby. Be good. Uh-huh. Whatever. I'm Chad. Poppy, don't forget the two drink maximum still stands tonight. Oh, come on. It's a special occasion, Benny. Don't look at me like that. Fine. Whatever. I'm gonna talk to Chad and Preston. So I guess I owe you one. No, not at all. Please, please, let's not talk about this. We were sick of her obsessing over you. Someone had to put her in her place once and for all. Are you sure that's the only reason? What are you implying? Nothing, I just, uh, dang it. She's the only person who can make me at a loss for words. Never in a million years did I think a girl could make me feel so nervous. What is that supposed to mean? Well, I have to go get ready. Oh, right. The lingerie party. Oh, please. Don't act like you forgot. I'm sure you've been picturing me in my cute little undies all day and you have no idea the set that I got, but it wasn't for you. It's for the party. See you tomorrow, Benny. Bye. She's irresistible. Can't get this girl out of my head. And the funny thing is, I don't even want to. Am I falling for this girl? What am I saying? I've already fallen. I'm fully captivated by this girl. I need her in my life. Well, so much for a drama-free weekend. I didn't want to go off on Victoria like that, but something just came over me. Do I feel bad for the things I said to Victoria or do I not feel bad for the things I said to Victoria? So here's the deal. It's true. 
what I said to her, but I just, I need to make sure that I meant it not because she likes Bentley. No, I, I, I didn't because I was mad at her for calling the party stupid. I don't feel bad. I can't apologize for it. She had it coming. Someone should have put her in her place a long time ago. I was sick of hearing her talk about Bentley. Oh, okay. Uh, let's talk about the party instead. Oh, oh, I just called her a bimbo. Oh, was I jealous? Oh, I know Bentley isn't interested in her, but the thought of her all over him is starting to make me mad. Bentley and I are just friends, right? We have fun messing with each other and the flirting is harmless, right? Oh no, am I falling for him? Okay, this is too much to think about right now. I need to get dressed. Yeah! At first I thought this lingerie party idea was pretty ridiculous, but I have to admit, I feel pretty good in this. I feel empowered and I hope the girls feel the same so we can have a good night. Who is it? It's Bentley. Oh, okay. Of course he knocks now. What's up? Aren't you supposed to be with the boys? I wanted to see you before we head out for the night. Should I invite Bentley in? Oh no! Oh, what do I do? Okay. I want him to come in so bad, just so I can see his reaction. But at the same time, I don't think he should come in because this is a party for the girls. I'm not looking this way because I want to impress Bentley. I want to look this way because I feel good and empowered. Stay out. Sorry, I'm not changed. I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, okay, see you then. Oh, I regret it. <laughs> I should be heading over to the party pretty soon anyways. Here we are at our lingerie party, dancing the night way. Oh my God, Marissa, your outfit is to die for. You look like a little superwoman. Thanks, my mom got one of her designer friends to make it for me. Woo, hot ha. Okay, you're not even matching, Victoria. Get out. This party's fun so far. Who is this girl in the corner? Feels like someone's watching me. This Margot chick is really staring me down. I'm gonna introduce myself. I'm not gonna ask her what her problem is. That is so defensive. Hey, I don't think we've had the chance to meet yet. I'm Gloom. Hi, I'm Margot. I love your cat ears. Really? Thanks. You're like really pretty. Oh, thanks. So are you. I've been watching you. You're so different from the other girls. You've been watching me? <laughs> I just mean, I've been very intrigued by you. Well, you don't seem too much like the other girls either. Oh, I'm not. I can barely stand them. Why do you think I bailed on shopping today? Yeah, okay, that makes sense. So why did you come this weekend? Marissa paid me to do her hair and makeup. Do you want to grab a drink with me? I normally don't like to tell people that I don't drink because they judge and start asking questions or begin to pressure me. However, Margot seems different. I think she'll understand without pushing for details. Oh, I don't drink. I meant Water, silly. I don't drink either. Really? Yeah, I don't like anything in my body that alters my natural state. I'm really starting to like this chick. She reminds me a little of Layla. So anyway, where are you from? Oh no. I can either say I don't have a home or I'm living with Poppy for now. I don't know her. I'm living with Poppy for now. I, I live in LA. No, I mean, where are you from? Oh, just a small town outside of LA. You probably wouldn't know it. Try me. Well, aren't you nosy? <laughs> I apologize, I just can't believe Poppy has a friend who isn't a self-absorbed snob. Well, thanks. But we don't have to insult Poppy's friends every 10 minutes, you know that, right? Margot and I talk for a while together. She tells me her own mother owns a well-known cosmetic company and that she plans to take over one day. Her mother wants her to prove herself first instead of just handing it over. Margot offered me a job there if I ever needed one. Oh, thanks, Margot. She's so sweet and down to earth. I wish I met her sooner. So, how long have you and Bentley been dating? What? <laughs> I almost choked up my saliva. We're not dating. Oh, well, you two could have fooled me. I saw you guys dancing. You didn't leave each other's side all night. When he wasn't next to you, he was across the room watching you like a hawk. Oh, we're just really good friends. Oh, so just friends with benefits then. No, 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 no. I can either say we're just friends, he has a crush on me or he's cute, but nothing's gonna happen. I feel like this Margot girl is secretly Chanel. And we don't know much about Chanel. We just know that we should be scared of her. We're just friends, cause we are. We're not dating, we're just friends. Girl, bye. There's definitely something going on between you two. Chemistry, attraction, tension. I could feel the heat from the other side of the room. It's not like that. I know love when I see it and the twinkle in his eye when he gets to look at you is anything but friendship. Love, you're getting way ahead of yourself, girl. Maybe. But I can see you feel something for him too, and life is too short to worry about what is. Follow your heart, girl, and hop on that. Come dance and drink with us, girl! Sorry, Poppy. Wait, I thought you didn't drink. Wait, why are you trying to catch me out on a lie? I don't, but she doesn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> well, come dance with us. Do, 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 do. This party is so lit, Marissa. Woo woo! What the heck was that? Did the power just go out? Oh! Are you kidding me? Five star hotel, and this is what we have to deal with? What the? Who keeps turning out the lights? Ah! <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> How will the girls deal with the party crashers? I'm deceased. 
Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm sweating. That, that was that was really something. That is enough crossing the line for now. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know if you want to see what happens next. I'm really enjoying doing this. Thank you so much to everybody for convincing me to continue this because it's it's great. I'm so glad that you guys are enjoying it with me. If you'd like to see me again, make sure you hit push notifications and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!